going to be on an upgrade to my newspaper tower stove, the newspaper tube. That's what this is. It's an old newspaper box. But I got this grating here, and I really don't like the way it sets. You know, if I set it like that, I don't like it, and I, if I turn it around, what I did is I went to the dollar store, and I got these um, hooks, and I'm going to put it upside down or whatever, and uh, see how that works. It looks like they're made out of really cheap aluminum, you know, so they're pretty easy to bend. And I'm going to put two or three of them around, maybe even four around the sides. You could drill some holes and bolt them in and see what's going on. But uh, that's what I'm going to be doing today. And I'll see how this turns out. Well, that's what one of them looks like. I can take these. These are pretty thin. I can lift them up, put them wherever I want. That way it can be more uh, stable uh, with a big pot or whatever. So I think I'm going to put uh, three more on, see how that works. And it's going to be a little bit better, I think. We'll find out. Well, that's what it looks like with all these um, called hooks, I guess. I don't know. On there. You can see the screws in there. That's one thing you got to watch out for whenever you're working with metal and stuff like that. Always watch out for sharp edges. So never stick your hand inside this tube. You know, just dump the ashes out. Because that thing will cut you bad. These are dangerous. And uh, I can set that tray on there. It's pretty sturdy, but you know you can adjust your height. You can see right there you got enough room for air. And uh, I'm gonna cook me some eggs, maybe some pancakes. I'm not for sure. Probably heat up my coffee the, the leftover from this morning. Have coffee and eggs and uh, French bread, I guess. We'll see how that no goes. No wind today. Um, this stove here is real easy to catch fire, you know, get some kindling at the bottom and start it and then put some bigger pieces on top and it's uh, pretty easy to catch fire and yeah, it burns, burns good. But I think I got maybe at the very most three dollars invested into this stove right here. You know, and uh, I'm pretty pleased with it. I'm going to put a little bit more wood on it and get my coffee going a minute for it to get going. I put that uh, cover on it and boy did it smoke up a storm and uh, it's starting to clear out now. We just had to burn off all the small kindling and stuff like that. But uh, still quite a bit of smoke coming off. Probably need to put some more holes on this side. Get some more air into it. that old rack back on there because it was smoking up a storm and uh, wasn't getting enough air. Need to drill some more holes and stuff like that. But uh, you can hear it crackling and popping and stuff like that and you know it's going pretty good. I can see the heat waves coming off of it. Let's be a couple minutes and my coffee will be ready. With that uh, other thing, it just smothered it, wasn't getting enough air. Smoking way too much, it's still smoking quite a bit right now. But it's because I have um, a different type of wood in there. I put in some 2x4s and stuff, and it's pretty big stuff. Pieces of 2x4 anyway. Ends of it. They're about 4 to 6 inches long, cut in 45. Just uh, waste wood. Got my eggs going. Seem to be going pretty good. Want to make sure that they're cooked. One thing I hate is runny eggs. Don't want to burn them either. So far, so good. Got three eggs there. I got the damn cats at my feet. I'm about ready to kick one of them. That's all they do is they want to be fed constantly. Well, here's my supper. 
three eggs, some pieces of uh, sourdough bread, some coffee, nice and toasty, and some barbecue potato chips. And the fire's still going, and the coffee looks like it's percolating. But I still need to get some holes put in there. You can see the fire going real good. Usually about the time I'm done cooking dinner, that's when the fire's going. Well, that was a good meal. Coffee's still warm. Yeah, the Mormons dropped by the other day. It was uh, Veterans Weekend. For Veterans Day, I think it was on a Sunday after church they dropped by. And I told them that I drink coffee every day. Uh, made my own wine and I like wearing my own underwear. And if they had a problem with that, you know, there's no way I'm going to enter the heaven or the temple without their undergarments. But I like wearing my own underwear, you know. But they haven't been back ever since. That's the only religion that I know that drinking coffee, making your own wine, and wearing your own one underwear, you can't go to heaven. <laughs> that was a good meal, though.